Well, we are almost to the weekend. Cue the music. You know what that means. Super Bowl 55 is right around the corner. News 6 is your home for all of the excitement. The Bucks are on their home turf. The weekend will entertain us at halftime, and plus a pandemic will make things look and feel different. <laughs> yes, as Mark Lehman reports, lots of planning has gone into pulling this thing off. Health officials have been working with the NFL to make sure the big game doesn't turn into a super spreader event. So much planning has gone into this year's Super Bowl, which no matter what the outcome, will be historic. As excitement is building for Super Bowl 55 in Tampa, work has been underway at Raymond James Stadium to keep everyone safe. Hand sanitizer, face coverings required, six feet separating here as you wait in line. Fans attending the big game will see familiar COVID protocols. The stadium will be at roughly one-third capacity with social distancing and mask requirements. We have a significant uh, number of staff whose role it is is to remind people. We've got tremendous amount of signage, tremendous amount of sanitizer. For the NFL, just being able to have a football season has been a challenge with the pandemic. We worked with all the medical experts to make sure that uh, we were, you know, everybody, and that includes our fans. And with the final game of the year, those on the front lines are getting recognition. Going to the Super Bowl. A few thousand vaccinated healthcare professionals will be special guests in the stadium on Sunday. The NFL giving thanks to the real heroes of this year's Super Bowl. Crazy. We have to pinch ourselves half the time, and we love what we do. So this is just everything. And of course, we have you covered with everything leading up to Super Bowl 55. Our big pregame show is tomorrow night at 7.30 and again at 7.30 on Sunday morning, starting at 4 a.m. on Monday with postgame coverage. Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.